another YouTube video. This one is going to be walking through a new software, uh, sourcing software called Flipmine, which a member of the Sellbooks FBA Facebook group introduced me to over a private message. And I thought I'd give it, check it out, give my review, see if it was uh, worth something that worth, you know, viewers and members of the Facebook group checking out. Uh, I am currently using their seven day free trial. So that's something that you can look at, which without dipping into your pockets, which is good. Um, here is the dashboard. Um, and essentially this software is an eBay to Amazon sourcing tool where the algorithm or whatever software that they use will scan through eBay keywords and ASINs and look for a discrepancy between the eBay listing price and the Amazon current Amazon lowest price or buy box price. I'm not too sure what it, which one of those it is, but it will kind of outline nice discrepancies for you so you can potentially profit. And um, let's just do a little run through of a search that I have been playing around with. So the good thing about this is you can go quite granular in your searches by adding rules. We'll keep this quite wide open for now. Let me just float that over the top. Okay, so you can, uh, this works in all categories, so it's not just book arbitrage, but for our purposes here, we will focus on books. Um, we'll add that rule there. And we can, as you can see, you can filter by Amazon price, you can filter by condition, uh, the FBA to FBM price differential, the number of Amazon sellers, profit ROI. I mean, it's, it's quite it's quite good, really, in terms of what you can search for. Um, I'm going to search for a sales rank less than one million, just so that we can get some faster sellers going on here and maybe move out some of the books that we're not so bothered about. Um, and also the great thing about this tool Flipmine is that you can filter by eBay when the when the book was listed, which for me is a key metric because I've always found whenever sourcing through eBay, um, the highest profit books that I find are the ones that have been listed quite recently because they might be as some sort of student who doesn't understand the value of a textbook and there's so many examples uh, that many of you may know that eBay where you can just pick up below market value books because people don't understand the value of them and these ones get snapped up really quickly so which is why I'm going to be adding this rule in uh, we're going to be picking books that have been listed in the last 14 hours because to be honest the best ones will go in two, well, less than two hours but uh, I ran this search a couple of minutes ago just to check there might be a couple of potential good ones. I did find one potential buy just for viewing purposes here. So you can see we've got how many results, it doesn't tell you, but you can save your search as well. So I've got this one saved up as books. Um, you can tick only show opportunities with a UPC or ISBN, which is helpful for us so that we don't get any mismatches. You can also make sure you're not getting mismatches because they tag the eBay image with the Amazon image, which is pretty helpful. So all you need to do, it's a bit manual from here on out, is you scroll through and you can kind of look to see, you can either go into each one and see whether it's something that you'd be interested in buying. Obviously you need to do your due diligence on the eBay seller. Um, but what you can nicely do is you can kind of tab out here the eBay listing versus the Amazon listing. So we can see here, Tangled Loyalties, this book at the top, it's selling for just under $40 here, and the buy box is only $20 here. So we are not interested in that, are we? So we'll close those out. Uh, we'll do another example down here. So let's check out this Splatoon 2 guide, which is new. Um, let's check out, so we've got a seller here that might be worth buying from, $30 here. How much have we got in Amazon? So the FBM offers 24. If we scroll down, the average price for me is too low for me to even go near that, so I won't go near that. 
Um, so as you can tell, this is obviously going to be a bit of hit and miss, which is the same with most sourcing techniques. You're going to have to go through and check out whether it's something you're interested in. Let's have a quick look at this crossover classics. These sort of books can uh, usually get a pretty good profit on them. As you can see, the eBay price is $77. And the listing is uh, it's not so good. We'll avoid that. Either way, you can tell with this, it's going to be a bit hit and miss. You're going to have to scroll through and check quite a few listings to see whether it's a book that you'd be interested in. But when I, as I say, when I ran this earlier, I scrolled down and I found uh, this book down here, a Saxon math book. Here we go. And I thought this looked interesting because you've got the eBay price at $8.34 and you've got the Amazon price at $30.70. Um, and these books, I've bought quite a few Saxon math books before and they usually sell quite well. So I can see that this is a rep very reputable seller. Uh, your online bookstore, I bought from them before for $8.34. And you can see that the lowest MF offer well, the, the lowest for FBA offer, sorry, is $24. But the average price is between 24 and 30 over the last 90 to uh, 180 days. And it sells well throughout the year, you can see. So this is probably a book, obviously it's not the best profit, but it's something that you'll definitely be able to buy for $8 there. And probably get $30 for, it's not amazing, but Easy $10 profit, didn't take too long. Um, and that's just an example of this software being potentially quite useful. Um, I've got a few days left running on it, so I'm probably just gonna play around with it a bit longer. Uh, maybe I'll do another video in future to give you a bit more feedback of what I thought of it. But I think it's $39 a month, so if you do, all you need to do is find a couple of books on it a day and you're gonna really get a good ROI on your time. And, and it's nice that you've got good filters here that you can flick through so you can go check via ROI or profit and you can also, I mean there's a lot you can do with this to get a bit creative and find some maybe books that other people aren't looking for. So I hope that is uh, of value to you guys and uh, it will be something that maybe you check out. Let me know in the comments if you find any good buyers on it because um, I'm sure they're out there. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, catch you in the next one.